Jonah Hill was in the viral news cycle about a week ago, and another article popped up about him. Psychologists warned about Jonah Hill's therapist methods months ago, and many think he's to blame for the Sarah Brady text. Let's get into this article. As Jonah Hill's ex-girlfriend continues to share more text exchange between her and Hill, further accusing him of being emotionally abusive, many people are starting to realize that Hill's therapist may be the problem. Over the last week, professional surfer and model Sarah Brady posted a series of alleged text messages between her and Hill, where the 21 Jump Street actor used so-called therapy speak to have control over Brady's life and dictate the type of boundaries that he needs in a romantic relationship. While many people on social media have been quick to call out Hill for the wrong use of the word boundaries, and that's just a display of coercive control. Others have started to look towards Hill psychiatrist, um, Phil Stutz, whom the actor has been seeing for years. In November of last year, Hill released a documentary titled Stutz, which consisted of candid conversations between Hill and his psychiatrist. While the film delves into Stutz's life and therapy practices, Hill also opens up about his own struggles, including mental health and the sudden passing of his brother in 2017 and the trauma surrounding his weight. The film was applauded by many of Hill's fans, but some fellow psychologists felt that Stutz's methods were both unprofessional and troubling. In an interview with Vice following the release of the documentary, James Davies, a qualified psychotherapist, was asked if he believed Stutz was a good therapist. From the standpoint of some measures, Stutz rejects much that is associated with good therapeutic work, maintaining boundaries, not giving advice, and not relying on untested theories. Um, when asked how Stutz practices differ from the standard therapist that might that people might see, Davies pointed out that many of the A-list clients that approach Stutz believe that he will grant them special access to higher universal forces so long as they apply his tools unquestioning. Now, that is an issue because when something is unquestioned, that, that becomes a religion of sorts. And that does cross the line of boundaries that should be, that should be there. Also, what I was seeing with um, this Jonah Hill situation is that the need for control and boundaries are being conflated as the same thing, which they are not. And if people are using the, the going to therapy piece as a way to get in with the relationship and then assert some kind of troll, that these are manipulation tactics that need to be talked about and we need to bring them up. That's why this conversation is important. Jump in the comments.